Okay, so right now we have one of those videos. I'm going to start the water heating, by the way, that I must warn you. Please do not try this at home because it might be very stupid and potentially dangerous. I'm not sure. Not that dangerous, but you know what I mean. And it's that kind of boiling and then icing and all that stuff with batteries. And uh, we will try that, but we'll try it in our way as, po as close to the videos that are floating on the internet as possible. And I have an ice tray here. I have regular cold water here. So I'm gonna put the batteries in the cold water according to them. And uh, all these batteries are, if not dead, they're near there. So yeah, I usually just recycle the other ones and uh yep as long as it's under that yellow is as good as being zero and the story is the same with all of them as you see they're all in low some of them are even lower and this one here yep even lower than that so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna just toss them in water like uh, they did and as i said again please do not try this at home this is not advisable for a human being to repeat so he stirred them with a i don't know cute spoon i have a t tv stand same thing now the stirring doesn't do much if i'm correct here but yeah they're all submerged underwater okay and after that what he did is throw some ice on them and we'll see if the ice actually does anything okay some of the trees there some of the tree here well, who cares? Let me put all the ice in there while the water is boiling here. This kettle gets it to really boiling. So he said just hot, like kind of really hot, but not boiling probably. And I'm going to stir them now with ice until ice melts a little bit down. My trust on this process is zero. Just to let you know, I think in the end, we're going to have a good laugh and we're going to tell each other, don't try this at home again. So let me just stir a little bit more and leave it alone till the ice goes out a little bit. Yep, the bowl feels really cold. Okay, let me see if we can check the temperature on the bowl. Uh, 66, but I got a 50 something at some point, but I don't know how to point this the right way. 63 probably even lower 44 43 so yeah the batteries are really getting cold 35 he said to give him a shock 32 yeah that's uh, about that freezing yeah it is actually really really cold and so far i would estimate maybe i don't know 10 uh five minutes or less to leave it like that and uh, we'll come back and see if that really works and oh the water here is getting uh, really hot now let me see yep our water is at 127 uh, i'm gonna let it go a little bit higher i guess uh 127.9 how about the batteries batteries depends where you put it looks like sometimes kicks 33 32 so i think this part here has reached it's lowest that it can go and uh i guess we are ready to do the transfer that they did on that video okay just like this and we'll turn off the water heating and i'm gonna give it maybe another minute to seriously go to the coldest it can and i think at this point it is as cold as it's going to get yep yeah 32.2 that is the coldest it will ever get for tonight so what they did there is they took all these batteries from here and put them in another bowl to add the hot water directly to them and that's what i'm gonna do if they explode i'm going to run yep oh yeah they're actually cold cold and i mean that okay just in case i'm gonna leave this water here <laughs> I just don't know that. And we're going to throw some water, uh, hot water here. Let me put something so it doesn't burn my table. Probably this would be good enough to buffer that heat. Okay. And he covered them. So just submerged them with hot water. This is really hot. And yep, 132 now, 131. And at this point, he added 
Baking soda. Yep. And we're going to add exactly baking soda. Pure baking soda. He did not count it, but he just, you know, kind of measured it this way. And I'm going to measure it just like him. I probably put a little bit too much, but that should not matter. And he started stirring it and stirred it for a few minutes, I guess. So let's see what that does. And by the way, this water is actually pure clean water. So I'm giving them the best chance hands so baking soda seems to be completely dissolved at this point and that's what he did on that video he did this stirring until the baking soda actually dissolved so that's what i'm doing and baking soda is gone so we're gonna strain them really quick boom now they should be ready to go we put them on this strainer perfect okay and as per instructions we get the dirtiest towel we have that i clean the chainsaw with and clean the batteries to dry them out before we test how they taste <laughs> yeah this is as dry as it's gonna get for tonight let me put them on this container so i don't mix them okay this is boring but quick at the same time if it works i don't know i'm not gonna say i'm gonna eat my shoes but i'll be surprised they're still warm but they definitely got the shock that everybody's talking about so and it's funny i have panasonic just what he had there too so yeah we uh we're in a good shape here and i have a few uh triple a rayovax and these are all uh alkaline batteries do not try well, don't try this either, but absolutely under no circumstances, do not try this with lithium batteries. They will actually start uh, boiling and might explode if they are of the cheapo variety. Just keep that in mind. If it's lithium, stay away from experiments. Okay, so we are ready. Let me just uh, wipe this table a little bit. Okay, and our stir is good. Okay, so let's see come on okay i'll hold it with baking soda you saw most of them were dead so we'll put them through the meter again yeah this one is uh still on the low okay let me throw it there i'm gonna try them all one by one yep still dead okay still dead yep i'm gonna try them one by one so this one and this one here still dead this one here still dead dead <laughs> not even not even clicking at all this one so okay <laughs> this one worse than where we when we put it in okay huh. and this is still on the low this is pretty much unusable and yep and this one is dead too so what that video did and i've seen so many people repeat that video he puts these batteries on a scale seeing if the scale turns on now you have to remember there are certain uh electronics or devices that you can get away with a 1.1 volt 1.2 volts even though these are 1.5 volts rated. Usually, heavier duty electronics, they will not accept anything under 1.4 or 1.35. But some light electronics will get away with 1.2, 1.1, and sometimes even 0.9. That's how they got away in that video. To make you believe that, oh look, this works. Absolutely, this does not work is seriously baking soda cold water hot water you're not doing anything salinated you're not doing anything uh to add alkaline you're not doing anything that would make these batteries to even jerk <laughs> forget about to wake up so yeah it was it was a fun fun project to bust i guess at this point not even to just check but busted and debunked whatever you want to use as a word absolutely do not use this method at home now there are methods to try to bring the voltage a little bit up on uh, alkaline non-rechargeable batteries but the problem with that is yes you can leave them on the charger for hours and checking and all that which is not worth your time to begin with and at the end you'll get the voltage to 1.4 even 1.5 but in that remote it will not last you more than, I don't know, maybe 10 clicks. Because it doesn't have the amps. It brings the voltage, but it, it doesn't have the oomph to push forward. So yeah, just, uh, just in case you had doubts. Yep, still down. And in these meters, by the way, if you have one of these, you know anything from yellow to the left is dead, dead, is, is gone. It's just not going to work unless, as I said, 
for really low, low power electronics that you can probably blow at them and they'll turn on. So yeah, and that video, very tricky, very nice. They put them on the scale if they didn't switch the batteries to begin with. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying there's a way that you could trick, put these batteries in and bring some other good ones out <laughs> during the video editing, you know, just, oh, pst, oh, I got the good one by mistake. Ah, but look, it works. <laughs> so yeah, in the end, it does not work. It is complete bull. Don't waste your time. Don't risk your hands to get probably lead poison or whatever is in some of these because, you know, they say one one thing and probably there's mercury, mercury and cadmium all day long. So with that said, I hope you like this video. I hope you learned something from this video and we will see you next time. Please like and subscribe. Bye.